Um, we're always excited. We just see it as another football game, you know. Um, we can't go out there with over expectations. You know, we just go out there and just have to play a solid football game. And that starts today on Monday, uh, the first the, the first day of practice of the week. You know, go out there and practice perfect, execute, and uh, that leads to a perfect game played on Saturday. And that's something that Coach Fisher preached preached from day one since I've been on campus. You know, perfect practice equals you no know, perfect playing the games. And we just want to hope to play a complete game on offense, defense, and special teams. Do you buy into that more now that you've been here for a couple of years? That that every game matters, and that that you have to prepare the same for every game and, and what do you tell the freshmen I guess then to, to hopefully get them to believe a little bit earlier? Um, you don't have to really tell the freshmen much you know they we, we pretty much the upper class lead by example and those guys pretty much fall in line that's what I love about our, our freshman class you know, that young sophomore class those guys really just follow in line and yeah. you know just uh, they go out there and prepare themselves you know they, they, they never know when the number's going to be called and so they go out there with the, with the mindset that uh, if somebody goes down I have to play so um, you know we, we've installed that since we well instilled that since we've been here with Coach Fisher and he and he pretty much uh, bangs it in our heads since we, since we got on campus that you know Perfect practice equals perfect play, and uh, that's something that uh, it's it's now uh, it's something that that's, that's that's Florida State. I would say that's something that Florida State has really instilled in me, and uh, I, I love it. Going up to Clemson, I mean, that's one of the more difficult places to play in the country just because of the atmosphere there, it's loud there. Mm -hmm. um, what, what did you take away from it last time uh, when you played there? My freshman year, last time I played in Clemson, it was insane. You know, I'm out there uh, catching pregame kickoff returns, and I can just hear the fans going crazy and uh, just watching them come down that hill and the rock and uh, it just realized like the game was on. You know, that when, when you really see the balloons come uh, uh, released and you see the guys coming down the hill, the smoke's going, and, and they finally close off the stadium, it's like, wow, it's like a, a two. 2,000 more people right there standing on the grass, and those guys are not sitting down the whole game. And then you got fans behind your bench going at you, yelling and screaming. And they're jumping around the whole time, and you see the, the, the small group of Florida State fans there, but they're there. You know, that, and that, that, that really just it's a comforting feeling when you see those guys there and their war chanting and your band's playing. But, you know, that atmosphere at Clemson is a crazy atmosphere, and uh, uh, I'm excited to see our young guys get their experience. When you look at their defense, uh, it seems like they're playing better than they have the last couple of years, and specifically making a lot of plays in the backfield, tackling mm -hmm. people for loss. As a running back, what do you see in either their defensive line, linebackers that's causing them to get penetration? Um, they're a solid group. You know, those guys are very, very solid. Uh, great group of guys. You know, I know a couple of them personally. Great group of guys. And, you know, they, they love to play football. But watching them play um, on TV, had a bye week this past week, got to watch them play a little bit. They're, they're, they love to play the game of football, just like we love to play the game of football. You know, and that's what makes them a great, great team. You know, guys that love to go out there and hit, put their nose in front of somebody, right in somebody's chest, and go out there and make plays and make tackles and celebrate with their teammates and just uh, keep, keep their fans in the game. That's what makes a good defense. That makes a good team, and that's why Clemson ranked number three. They're they're a very they're a very good squad. Do you have to pay specific attention to your pass blocking? Uh, what you have to do in that, since they are a team that kind of gets into the backfield, does get a lot. Yeah, of well, and uh, I do believe so. You have to worry about that when that comes up. But you know, um, the, they're going to play aggressive. We're going to play aggressive. If I'm supposed to be in there pass blocking, I'm going to get my get the job done to pass block. If I'm supposed to be out on the route, I'm be out on the route. But um, we have to worry about that when it comes. You know, I try to not not to think too much about. Um, Next, the Saturday. I try to think about Monday and try to get through practice, execute practice, make sure I'm doing my assignments right. So Saturday, when the play is called, I'm in the game. I know my alignment, I know my assignment, I know the technique I'm supposed to use. So I try not too much to think about it, but uh, watching film, watching those guys, they do have great pass rushers. They're great off the edge. They're athletic. Um, they're very fast, physical, big guys. So, you know, um, it's going to be a good game. I'm just ready. I'm just excited to play. For a game like this, is it hard to calm your emotions a little bit, especially when you get inside a stadium like Clemson? Um, it's it's more it's easy because it's almost humbling. Because you know you play inside a Doke, you get eighty six thousand, and it gets loud in Doke. When you go to Clemson, it's. It's, it's, it's a whole nother level, uh, you know. Those those guys in there, they never they never sit down. They're always up. They play they play a uh, you know um, popular music that people listen to, the young kids listen to. So it keeps their their student section going crazy and going insane the whole entire game. And uh, you know, it's it, it's just that I think it's just that environment you're in. You know, the, they they always come to play no matter what, and they they take pride in their home. So you your know? heart's racing. You're nervous a little bit when you. Um, I wouldn't say nervous. I'm just ready to play. I'm more I'm more ready to play. More ready to get after it. Cause I know the guy across from me is gonna bring his A game. So I'm. I have to make sure I bring mine. Uh, you mentioned the bye week and you had a chance to watch some college football. What did you think of uh, how Clemson played this past week and just some other college football games? Um, I, I, I got to watch quite a few games. I was shocked by a couple games this past weekend. But watching Clemson play, like like I said before, that they're up front. Their front seven is good. You know, I, I didn't get to watch too much of them last year on film, film, uh, because I played defense. But watching them uh, just a little bit this past weekend is uh, their, their linebackers are very good tacklers, like to hit, like to make plays. Um, the, the front, their front four, physical, like to go in, like the like you said, make plays in the backfield. Very athletic, very physical. Um, but no, we have to just practice this week. You know, go out there, pa practice perfect, and get ready to play a perfect game on Saturday. We have to prepare well to play well. All right, questions from John here. Um, no, I just wanted to ask about you know James and and. Uh, 
Devontae, how they, you, you said with the freshmen that you've helped, it's more about going out and, and executing and, and talking through your actions. How have they helped you? Have they, is that what they do for you? Do the same way. I'm, I'm the pup. At, at running back. I'm the young guy. Um, you know, those guys been there for two years and they played against Clemson for two years on offense side of the ball. So now um, they're, they're definitely trying to lead me down that, that path of, you know, repeating, you know, the execution, make perfect plays, align, align up right, do your assignment right, your technique right, you know, j just to prepare for these big games like this. But, um, you know, they don't really talk about the big, the big game. They talk about, you know, just another game. We have to go to execute and play well, perform well. How much does it help having two other Big running back. I mean, you also have Ryan Green as well. So your first year, how much does it help to have Devontae and, and James? Though it makes things a lot easier. It makes things a lot easier because you know uh, I'm picking up an offense pretty fast. Le learning on learning on the run. Um, Coach Fisher's doing a great help. Also, Coach Graham is doing a great help. But those two guys, being my peers, are doing an excellent job. You know, if I really don't know something, I can always look to my left or to my right, and boom, the answer's there. And boom, the technique's there. And how you run it there, how you move, and well, what you're supposed to be looking at is always there because those two guys are experienced backs and they they uh, they're great leaders and great guides.